those are fine i am also fine so how are you i'm fine so what is the this topic we will do some definition in this topic we study also about the introduction of current electricity now we do some definition and formula we we'll see in this video and uh, and after that video in next video we will do it that derivation for that um, formula so what is after that so that is electric field electric field inside wire so what is electric field inside wire so what is electric field inside wire we do not electric field in e we know that there is no electric field inside any surface but here we doing the battery so the wire is under uh, the electric field produced by the battery so electric field in that wire we know that we are in first chapter if it, there is no electric charge is at the surface of that body and we take the charge body here we not take a charge body we take here the battery so it give the charge to that wire so that V volt battery we have here, and that is cross sectional area. That is L length. That is L length wire. So, what is that electric field in that wire? So, that is ratio of volt upon length. That is electric field inside any wire. We the volt that is meter. So, volt per meter is the unit of that electric field, and we also know that newton per coulomb is also the unit of electric field. So, there is there are two unit comes. First, the first is come from first lesson and the second is in third lesson. So volt per meter. Here we use that volt per meter because we here we see about the moving charges and there is a rest charges. So the volt per meter is the unit of electric field. That is electric inside electric field inside wire. Now drive formula. We drive formula for um, force by um, electric field um, on electrons and the acceleration. So then here we take that is positive and that is negative. So the flow uh, of electron is from negative to positive. So that is uh, yeah. and uh, we take here uh, the side electric field reaction of electric field here we take and we know that electric field. Uh, a force applied for negative charge is opposite to that electric field. Here, electric field is in the direction, so it uh, um, applies force on negative charge means electron in the positive direction. So that we apply negative force. And we know that uh, what is the formula for electric field? That is force upon charge. So force upon charge. That is electric. So where we find the force, then it is equal to force is equal to E into Q. So here we take what is the charge? Charge is here electron. So F E is equal to E and F. And we know that the force is opposite direction in electric field. So here we take negative charge. So that is force for electron in uh, inside wire. That force applied by the electric field on electron. Now for acceleration, we know that E is equal to F ratio. So F is equal to A is equal to minus E E upon M. So that is the formula for acceleration. We can find the acceleration of electron inside wire. So that's three formula comes from that definition. First is that second third. So that is most important formula we use. Uh, here we take here we know that. E and M. E is the charge of electron that is universal constant, and mass is also the mass of electron. So there is the universal constant. So acceleration is always constant because here we take uh, E is uniform. We take the electric field in the wire is uniform. So acceleration is always always constant inside wire. So that is electric field inside wire. Now. We study about so what is 
now. Drift value 50. We denoted by V into D. So what is drift velocity? Equation and from the definition. We take the definition in this lecture that drift value is very important and very useful. So drift velocity. First uh, to do before doing that like uh, definition, I will tell you something that uh, we forgotten the um, that chapter. We have to know about it. We know um, in this chapter we also know that when electrons or when any wire there is a wire when any wire is not connected to the in a battery then electrons are moving in that battery not particularly diagonal in random direction and it's like as that electron is in this is this this, this. but the total velocity total velocity is vector sum means u1 plus u2 plus u3 is equal to zero so vector sum of that velocities are zero and the average velocity of that electrons are also is equal to zero so here when it does not test by the battery so the total velocity is zero here we take when that wire is attached to the battery then the velocity of that wire or average velocity of that electrons is called drift velocity means velocity velocity of electron here we take average velocity to make the definition average velocity of electron when a battery is across across when a battery is joined across wire, then the average velocity of electron in that wire is, is equal to velocity. That is formula we can take here that V. That is after attaching battery, then V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus Vn. So that is average velocity, and that is divided by that. Here we take the nth, nth, and nth velocity. That is the formula of velocity. Unity is velocity is meter per second. So that is direct velocity. Now, we discuss about uh, electric density, free electron density. So what is free electron density? We have to study about the free electron density. So what is what is free electron density? We know that what is density. So here also we take what is free electron density? So density is in in the ratio of um, and volume so number of free electron in unit volume we will take the that sign is n and so number of free electron in unit volume so we take it a a the area and n is the length so number of free electron in unit volume here we take that is unit volume then n is equal to n so n is number of number of electron so that number of free electron in unit volume is called Free electron density in a wire, then free electron density. Now, do about what about mobility? That is a good definition. Mobility. We know why mobility is mu. So, ratio of drift velocity and electric field inside wire Vd upon E is equal to mobility. So, ratio of drift velocity and um, drift velocity and electric field inside wire is called mobility. At, so, one, two, two formulas and three formulas also we study that five formula and that last topic of that um, video is relaxation time. Relaxation time. So time difference between two consecutive collision is called relaxation time. That collision is between um, ions and electrons. Why? Here ions come because when we take the any wire then there is the ion present in that wire like that we take a conductor that in liquid form we take an HCl. When we solve it in dissolve it into wire then the will the ions Na plus and Cl minus are produced then the electron collide with that uh, ions then the time difference between the two coll consecutive collision when electrons uh, collide with the Na plus then after 
second n plus 10 that the collision dif time difference is called reflection time so there is no formula for it uh, uh, um, further we derive formula for um, reflection time in after um, some videos so that is denoted by 2 so that is our last this topic so thank you very much for the video like this like this and subscribe